Okay, guys, the word I was given this morning for key number three is penetrate. Penetrate. And we are invited to think about how penetration is a function of light in the universe. Like, this is... something I've been stewing on for a few weeks and I think I'm going to try to describe this in a few different ways. Um, let me think. First of all, so when we traveled here from source, right, when we were on our dis dissension cycle, we penetrated down into density. We carried the light with us and we were the light that penetrated down into density. Now we're down here, what are we doing? We are penetrating back up to the most high. We are penetrating back up through the layers of light frequencies. Um, and we're also bringing what we found with us, penetrating back up. And, okay, the first thing I wanna do is, everybody knows what a yin-yang looks like. <laughs> Let me <laughs> just draw a slightly lopsided yin-yang. just so that we have something to kind of look at. <laughs> okay, so this is a 2D representation, but what would this look like if you could imagine it in 3D, if a yin-yang were a sphere, right? Because we can see that the light half of the yin-yang has penetrated the dark half, and the dark half of the yin-yang has penetrated the light half. I used to always look at the yin-yang and just think, okay, so there's a little like black, black blob in the white half and there's a white blob in in the black half but now I'm seeing that if you could visualize this in 3D we would like see that these are connected that you know behind inside inside the ball there would be like strands of white going from the white half into the white circle right and same thing going the other way it's like that's what's happening inside. That's how each half of the yin-yang yin penetrates the other half of the yin-yang. And this is everywhere, right? I mean, I know you've all thought about the yin-yang before, but this is kind of like um, a back to basics moment to take all of the thoughts you've ever had about the yin-yang and take it way further, right? Because this is everywhere, right? We have left brain, and right, right, left brain and right brain, right? That's another way we can imagine this because your left brain controls the right side of your body, but your left brain is in the left half of your body. That's the, <laughs> that's the same thing, right? If, if we were to correlate the left brain with the white half of the yin yang, with yang energy, right? With yang, left brain, yang, white. It's like this white ball, the white part of the yin yang, the white ball is, that's like how our left brain is inside the left side of the body, but is controlling the right side, right? And these things did not, were not just put there like <laughs> they had to grow there. They had to travel there through penetration and in the void, in the void where there is nothing except for where light manifests. When light manifests in the void, it goes everywhere. It can penetrate everywhere because there's nothing to stop it. Um, where we are in density, we frequently put up barriers between ourself and the light because we have confused the penetrating function of light. We have confused it with things like, we could use different words that have different connotations, like infiltration, right? The light does not infiltrate. <laughs> the light does not infiltrate against like, it does not force, it does not trick, it does not scheme, it does not do anything against your will. It only penetrates what is open. So,
part of the invitation here is to open up and expand, like relax, relax and open and expand and soften so that more light can penetrate into you. And this is also, I mean, yes, this is light like coming from the sun, right? Light coming down from source, light coming from external sources, but this is also the light that is coming out from your heart and penetrating your body and penetrating out from you. We are, um, we have a tendency to create little barriers that stop our own light from <laughs> penetrating ourselves even. Another thing here is that why, why, right? Why, why the penetration into the middle of something? This is to do with getting into the driver's seat, to use a really commonly used term. You've all heard people say, um, like, you're in the driver's seat of your life, right? Or like, get yourself into your driver's seat. I always heard people say that and never really clued in to what that actually, like the energetics of what that is really about. And then I realized it's like, okay, <laughs> you cannot drive your car from outside of it, right? I mean, you can technically, you could use a remote control to drive your car, but that's a lot more difficult. You can, you know, it, so it can be done, but it's not ideal. You want to be in your car in the middle of it. You want to penetrate into the middle of your vehicle so that you can guide your car with greatest precision. Same thing with allowing the light to penetrate to your innermost center because if the light is has penetrated to your innermost center then you can guide your own life like with your full power with your full capacity as a light being right you can then then you have unlocked the power to be your own guiding light because now you are in the center of your vehicle, right? The center of your body, the center of your vessel. You need to penetrate to the center of yourself so that you can be in your own driver's seat of your own vessel, of your own vehicle, which is you, your body. We can also think about how this applies to the, the cosmos, right? Why did we come down here from source? Is because we were penetrating the darkness. We were penetrating density. We penetrated it so that we could be in the driver's seat. That is why humans are so powerful, right? We think, oh, oh, little, little humans, <laughs> little humans. Why, why is the whole galaxy so interested in humans? It's because we, we penetrated the farthest. We penetrated the farthest and now we are here and we are in the driver's seat. We are in the driver's seat because we have penetrated to it. And we are now heading back up, penetrating all the way back up to most high. And we were taking everything that we are with us to penetrate most high. And then you can see how that flows energy from one area to another, right? It's this constant push-pull. Imagine that the yin-yang is alive and constantly pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling in a perpetual motion, right? We haven't discovered perpetual motion on earth, but that is an old philosopher's, uh, like alchemist's, uh, like thing to be seeking perpetual motion because then we would unlock the secret of eternal energy right like energy that doesn't lose energy because it's just a a perfect synchronized push pull and that can only be accomplished with like perfect penetration on both sides both sides both sides need to penetrate one and the other this is like true balance right penetration like full complete penetration allows for full balance and of course everybody's thinking it yes sex is also a metaphor for this um physically absolutely but many of you have also experienced you know the energetic penetration that can happen during sex if you're with the right partner and you know you're both in the right headspace right or you're right in the both you're both in the right um like energetic space where both partners All right, like there's an energetic penetration going on where you're both getting inside of the other one, energetically speaking, you know, your souls are entwining, you're literally feeling the other person's like experience, 
right? You're feeling the other person's experience. And that is when sex is the best, isn't it? Because you are inside of each other, inside of each other. And that is where you can inspire each other to the greatest heights. All of this is because of the energetics of light and its function as a penetrating force in the universe. I had this card here <laughs> because I drew this this morning and the author of this deck, Crystal Oversoul Cards, talks about how Peridot, this crystal, its Oversoul, its green light is meant to penetrate directly into the center of our hearts. So I think I'll just end letting you guys just look at this. Allow the light to penetrate in all directions, all directions. Penetrate, the light wants to penetrate into you and your own light wants to penetrate into you and then through you into the world. And that's the message for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye.